In the bullseye process of brainstorm, test, focus, there's a few pieces that people get wrong. In the first one, uh, the brainstorm piece, they just don't take all the channels seriously. And that is this bias piece that people are biased towards and against certain channels. And that manifests in not even thinking that's possible. So a good example is public speaking. Most people hate public speaking. When you first start out, for a lot of startups, you know, going out and speaking somewhere may be the quickest way to get you, you know, your first set of customers. If you go speak at a conference in front of people that could possibly buy your product, that's like almost overnight the quickest way to get a few customers. Yet most people completely dismiss that channel. Um, and so the key to that first step is taking all channels seriously and forcing yourself to come up with a test that you could run in each of those and then thinking about that really objectively, like, okay, if I really did go through and do this speech, would that really work? If so, then maybe I should do it. The second step of testing, um, people really mess up by not scoping their tests very well. And so we give in the book a rule of thumb that when you're first starting out, a lot of these tests really shouldn't go over $1,000 or more than a month's time. And what we see people do is they'll say, I'm gonna test you know, Twitter ads or Facebook ads, and they'll set up 40 ads when really they only need to set up four on the order, a whole order of magnitude less to just get some rough answers to the question of how many customers could I bring in? How much does it cost to acquire a customer? Are these the right customers? You can get some rough answers on that very quickly and cheaply. And then the third piece, the focusing piece, now you're taking a core channel, you had a test that was pretty successful, you think you get your goal, you're gonna focus on it. Where we see people mess that up is they don't get rid of their other tests. So let's take an example. Let's say you decide that Twitter ads actually are the thing that you know, you're gonna focus on, it's gonna work. In your earlier tests, you also went to a trade show and you also tried to get some PR. Both of those were pretty successful because remember, those were the three best tests out of your 19. It's very natural to keep doing the PR and go to another trade show because you know you're gonna have a little success with that, but it's the wrong answer because you know from your tests that the Twitter ads were more effective, you should spend all your time and money there for two reasons. One, you already know it's more effective. The second is a little less intuitive. To really focus on a channel, you're undercovering, you're uncovering the core underutilized strategies within it. The only way you can do that is if you're really in it and 100% focused on it. It's a full-time job where if you're doing these other activities, you'll never get to those cool underutilized strategies.